All right, so today we have a uh, Chevrolet, GMC, Cadillac, and Hummer circuit board uh, from an instrument cluster of the SUVs or pickup trucks. They're notoriously known for having circuit board issues. And today we're going to just take a look at common things that we see when we uh, see a lot of the circuit boards come in with uh, that's already been serviced by either uh, another company or somebody that's been trying to do it at home. Uh, so we just want to give you a little bit of tips and tricks on what to look for and what to avoid. Um, these stepper motors pretty much go bad. Uh, the gears pretty much uh, start to become a little bit more harder to move around and eventually the gauge stops responding altogether. And so we pretty much, when we get one in here, we replace all the stepper motors with brand new ones and the most updated version. Um, so you, it'll pretty much last the lifetime of your vehicle. Uh, we put new incandescent bulbs here. Um, on the back, where we desolder the stepper motors, a lot of times we see, like we see for example here, um, solder splashes, debris, um, scratches. Uh, when we get it in here, we'll, we'll pretty much clean up most of it off as best as we can. Uh, make sure nothing is impeding from the electrical connection to the actual pads. Of the stepper motors um, a lot of times we see cut trace lines jumper wires if somebody failed to successfully desolder one of these legs oftentimes the next step is to actually make a jumper wire but sometimes it's connected to the wrong place uh, so we pretty much restore um, and fix any trace lines back to its OEM specifications um, when you're soldering you want to make sure that it's not bubbling up you know solder balls are not spewing everywhere because that will have to be cleaned off otherwise it'll start touching other components as, as you can see there's a lot of places on the back of the circuit board that can easily be shorting out um, so we recommend uh, using you know high quality solder a good solder ironing uh, soldering iron so make sure that you're uh, taking your time when you're actually doing this one um, same thing with the bulbs on here you want to make sure that none of the pads are touching, the legs aren't too long. Um, there's a lot of components that we resolder on the top end because eventually from cold solder joints or uh, faulty components that fail due to age or just wear and tear, uh, we pretty much replace all of that and fix it. Um, as you can see right here, tiny little place right here. Normally you can see when somebody's already tried to do something and you can see a little tiny solder bridge at the very top. It looks very small, but you'll be surprised how many times we get something like this and we'll see tiny, you know, when we see something's already been worked on, we'll, you know, exhaustively assess the circuit board and make sure that we see there's no bridges, um, there's no loose components, things that were supposed to be there are now missing. Uh, it just makes it a little bit more fun when we're trying to repair one of these circuit boards, but, um, you know, we pretty much test all the functions at the end anyways, so... You know, if something's not working, um, we'll let you know that we weren't able to fix it. But yeah, so the back is basically, you want to take your time desoldering these stepper motors and you want to make sure they're completely flush with the circuit board and they usually snap on, um, they click through so you'll know that they've successfully, um, you know, punched through the holes on the back and then you can solder them in. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure your circuit board is as clean as possible. Um, so that there's no debris, there's no dirt, corrosion uh, eventually uh, accumulating. But uh, yeah, basically this is what we do to these uh, circuit boards. We fully repair it, resolder everything, put all new stepper motors in here, brand new lights. And um, yeah, pretty much re recalibrate the gauges to factory specs. And then it comes with a 90 day warranty. So if there's any issues or con concerns, um, then you know just let us know, email us or call us. Uh, but yeah, that's how you would repair one of these. So if you're going to do it yourself, just make sure that you're uh, assessing the board because oftentimes, you know, you'd be surprised how solder from an, a soldering pencil can actually spew out and go somewhere else. And then it's going to take you a while to figure out what happened and kind of corrosion or bridges or uh, one of the components that shifted off the pads. Um, so that's something that we specialize in here at Upfix. So if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and thanks for watching. Uh -huh.